Welcome to another episode of By the Numbers. I'm Michelle Fleming. And I'm Renee Smith. What are we doing now? Well, we've been talking about rote counting, so we're going to continue on about rote counting, but we're going to talk about the ability to count on and count back. Okay. And not to always have to start at one. Okay. That's, that's a big leap for kids. They always want to start back over and start at, back at one. Uh -huh. So counting on or counting back is just holding a number in your head and counting on from it or counting back from it. Okay. So we're going to actually play a game okay. that's going to help get this skill ready. All right. Okay. So we're going to have to make some game boards. All right. Do you want to be blue or red? Blue, please. I kind of knew you were going to say that. Well, I know. Okay. First thing you need to do is down your paper, number your paper one to ten. Oh. Are we playing a game or are we taking a spelling test? Oh, it's going to be a game, and it's going to be a fun game. But oh. yeah, it does kind of remind you of spelling <laughs> test, doesn't it? I, don't, I, I hope it's not a spelling test today. Okay. Once you've numbered your paper down, all you're going to do is you're going to kind of make three columns going down, going okay. here, like that. Okay. And if we had done it with line paper, we wouldn't have to be drawing our, our horizontal lines, but we're going to draw the horizontal ones. Okay. So, note to self, if you do it at home, do it on line paper. You don't have to get, do the horizontal. Find those old spiral notebooks That's that right. nobody ever uses up at the end of the school year. Okay. All right. And up here, we're going to just put start. Start. And here, we're going to put the word roll, R-O-L-L, -L, like we're going to roll a dice. Okay. And over here, we're going to put the word end. All right. Okay. I'm going to give you a dice, a die, and I'm going to have a die. Okay. Okay. And we're going to, you can use any number to start with. Um, we're going to use, since we're, we'll, we'll do it like we're going to do it for young kids. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start with the number 10. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take turn rolling the die. Okay. So if I roll the die and I get a 4, I'm going to put a 4 here. Do you, I? You roll the die and see what you get. Okay. Okay. 1. 1. Okay. Now, from 10, you, you're going to either choose to count up. Okay. So you're going to either count up to 11, right, or you're going to count down to 9. Right. The goal is at the end of the 10th round to be closest to 10. Okay. Okay. So you, I'm going to count up, so I'm going to go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I'm going to go up as well and do 11. Okay. This end number is your new start number. Okay. okay. I'm going to roll again, and I have a 3. And I have a three as well. Okay, and <coughs> I'm actually going to count down on mine, so I'm going to go 14 down to 13, 12, 11. Okay, I think I'll go up, so I'll do 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so the game continues until you get to the end. I'm just going to do a few rounds here. Okay, I'm going to decide to go down. I got a one, so I'm going to okay. go down, which would be 13. So I'm starting with 13 again. Okay. Good. And I got a 4, and I'm going to go down to 9. Oops, which is 9. We just, let's play 5 rounds and okay. call it good. 5. Ugh. I'm going to have to go up Ew. to 14. Okay. So actually, the person who would, let's, we'll pretend we're at our 10th round. Okay. Are you closer to 10, or am I closer I'm to 10? I'm 4 away. I'm also four away. So it's a tie. It's a tie. It would be a tie. So it's just counting forwards and counting backwards. Now, older kids obviously might start putting in some operational signs in here. You uh -huh. know, are they adding or are they subtracting to get I their added, numbers? I added, okay. I added, I subtracted, I <laughs> can't even tell what I did. Subtracted and uh -huh. then I added. So you, older kids could do that. Now, if you have students who this isn't something they can count on and count back on their own like that, a way you can help them with that, and we use it a lot in education, is just a number line. And I'm just going to draw a quick number line, and if I was going to do zero, I would just actually put my numbers on. It's not going to be perfect, and that's okay. And there's oftentimes you can find number lines. Yeah, you can download these download off the, inter off the yeah. internet so that yeah. you could have a number line just ready R ready to go. to go so you could just do an whoops <laughs> whoops 14 goes there so I could have stand here and if I started at 10 and I rolled a 4 I could have actually done the 1 2 3 4 count back where did I end I ended at 6 okay okay and then just realized I did something wrong there so then when you were at 6 when you count forwards or count back 
So a number line is a great tool to use. If they can't, if they if can't, they can't, do, can't do it, it automatically. Yeah, if they okay. can't do it automatically, the number line is a great tool to use to, to help them until they are able to do it automatically. Cool. And you can start with any number. Older kids, I've had older kids start there with 100. And they can change up the dice and use two dice. And they might be having 100 and subtracting 12. 12. If yeah. they got double sixes. Yes. Okay. So you can change it up in many different ways. So. Great. I like it. So anyhow, that's just a way to help them with that counting on and counting back, which is an essential skill in their developing the number sense. Yeah, it helps them learn their addition and subtraction. And, and see those relationships as well. Absolutely. So. Thank you for joining us in another episode of By the Numbers. You can find out more information about this show and other shows on MyKidsTurn.com.